What is going on guys and girls? It's Ghost Robo and I am in New Orleans. What am I doing here? Well, you are about to find out here for some exciting Mafia 3 adventures and vlogging adventures. In fact, I am going to start doing uh, more vlogs on the channel. It's something I've always wanted to do. It's something I have missed doing and it's something I now, living in Los Angeles, doing a lot more, going to a lot more events, I think you guys will really enjoy. So I'll be chronicling some of me and Becca's adventures starting here in New Orleans. We're doing a swamp tour. We're doing a freaking river dinner jazz boat cruise we're doing a uh, walking tour of crime and we're playing a bunch of mafia 3 so we'll start out here then i'm flying straight to seattle to meet gabe for pack so i'll be vlogging that as well so if you guys enjoy these and want it to be something regular i definitely plan on it so let me know if that sounds like a good idea to you just talk at me in the comments hit a like button the room is a little weird uh it smells like a barn. The bed has a little bit of a livestock barn smell. Not sure what that is to do with New Orleans or maybe this hotel, but it's kind of making me a little nauseous. Uh, there's a record player. So again, a very cool hotel. It's got like uh, a, definitely a New Orleans vibe. This old-fashioned refrigerator here that's totally uh, functional. In fact, I got some of my stuff in. There's a bunch of uh, drinks and stuff that I will not be touching, but there's my apples and there's my carrots and my cukes. Now, Becca may be gone, but look who is also with me here in New Orleans. It's freaking Tuggles! What's up, buddy? I can't travel anywhere anymore without that dang bird. He just loves me so much and he hates being alone. So I gotta bring him with me. And I'm gonna bring you guys with me on this trip. So, Swamp Tour, Mafia 3, Riverboat Cruise, and Crime Talk in New Orleans with experts. Let's do this. of our big boat. It's very large. Are you going to throw up and get seasick? No. Look at this. Apparently they have food on here and that's, that's live alligators fighting against gorillas. Live alligators. And dancing they shrimp. Yes, they do. Don't ruin what I'm hoping for. So far today I played five hours of Mafia 3. That was really good. Becca sat and watched like a trooper the whole time. It was brutal. And now we're going on this Crayol Queen boat to... What are we doing? We're going oh down the river. Oh my gosh, we're going down the river. And you can't see my eyes, that's good. We're going down the river. We're going down the river. We're going down the bayou. No, going down. no, no bugs. We're not encouraging any bug songs today. So we're going on this boat. And, and we're gonna... We're gonna go back. We're gonna, we're gonna, gonna dance with these two guys. Cafe du Monde. Right there. And... You look very, very handsome. I try. Oh my goodness gracious, who is this little boy? Look at this guy. Oh, he has a boy on his stick. What a very handsome man. If only I was this cool. He's like really good at colors. It's a lot like fish, and I don't like the seafood smell. Yes, it does. Look, come over here and smell into the water. Put your nose down. Smell. Give it a big whiff. It smells like fish. It smells like the seafood section of Meyer or Kroger or wherever you shop to get your uh, daily groceries. The first time we've ever had two cameras out. Let's have them kiss. No. no. That's how you get it done, baby. Now you kiss it. Eat it for us. Eat it for you? In case you can't see. Okay. You're a messy eater. <laughs> Good ball. What's the most important thing to know for going on a 
Gross. Most important thing is the safety. Nope. Most important thing is uh, stay in the boat. There we go. See, the most important rule of being on the boat is stay inside the boat. And now everyone's here getting on the actual boat, checking tickets, looking fancy, looking not fancy, looking sort of fancy. What's it like to live on a boat? We're much like land because we're not moving. Yes, we are. We're not moving, but we are in water. It's not, you can, you can't, there, 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 sort of. All right, tell us about what you prepared for us tonight. So, I got, uh, let's see. I got jambalaya, right? Uh-huh. And this is a seafood pasta. Blah. This is rice and red beans, green beans, and a roll. And then I'm double vlogging. Chicken, because I don't want it salad, and, like, and green beans, and water. The boat is taking off, the boat is taking off. Look at it go. <laughs> it's like 70 miles an hour. Look, barely moving. Here we go. Barely, barely. You ready? We're speeding down the river. Sort of, kind of. This is bread pudding. It doesn't really look like bread or pudding. That's why it's bread pudding. It's like a cinnamon sauce. It's pretty good. It kind of reminds me of a, like, what's that stuff called that I like? Apple crisp? Yeah, minus the crisp. Oh. Minus the crisp part and minus the apple. Like you're just to have the breading. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever been on a boat for a long period of time. Like more than like ten minutes. I think the longest boat ride I've ever been on. Jungle Cruise. No. <laughs> the the ferry from the. Did you just snort at me on camera? Sorry, I made myself laugh. The uh, the parking lot to the Magic Kingdom boat. Oh. At Disney World. Right. Did you ride that with me? I think we did. I think we did once. No, there's no way we would. We were in the parking lot ever. We took buses, so we never did. Okay. And you've never been in my family. Okay. Goodbye, land. We loved you. Now we're going to turn into a bunch of fish mer people. Becca, what's it going to be like to be a merman? I'm going to be a mermaid. No, nope, merman. There's no difference. The genitals are gone. Merman, don't. Merman. Merman? They have tridents. What do mermaids have, then? Annoying laughs. You got something against mermaids, too? Yep. Now we're gaining steam. We're picking up. It's going so fast. Look, oh no, we left a guy. He doesn't, doesn't look that sad. It's not the air. I had to kill a bug with my napkin. Yeah, there was a cockroach cross. It was like a weird orange baby cockroach. It was yeah, kind of terrifying. Yeah, they crossed their table and Zachary. Uh, you were trying to call an attendant. Well, I figured they'd want to know there's a cockroach. We, we need like buttons like at the plane, like ding, 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 like to help there's a bug. Um, what I don't understand is we've already, like, we boarded at 6, and we weren't taking off until 7. We've already finished our food, so we still have two more hours. We're just going to have to have a crazy boat party. Yeah. Zach and I really don't have many friends here except the developers, but they're all talking. We also don't have much of a crazy party personality, so. Usually it's just like a little... Lincoln Clay is going to drive by and execute everyone with his Bowie knife. Yeah. Once he gets that, it's like way more brutal. Before it's just like punching people out or like pulling them over the boxes. I really would like to go through that whole game killing as few people as possible. It's so much more fun. Yeah, I just like, I like sneaking. You chose to do stealth over everything else. I'm in that Dave Sex mindset, that's why. Although Adam Jensen's a little more... Actually, they're both not very subtle. Like... Bo both in, in, in both in Deus Ex and Mafia 3, the, their silent kills are so loud that everyone would hear like boom, boom, like knife through Not the only throat. That, but like, it cracks me up the, um, like the stealth system when you're trying to sneak up behind someone. Like you could be standing right here and they're like coming and they're right here and you still haven't been tipped off that they're there. Cracks me up. It's like, really, do you not have peripheral vision? Back in the old days, they didn't. Their eyeballs only went forward, straight at you, and straight backwards, not to the sides. So you approach like a a, a drawing. Did you ever play that game? Is all the link between two worlds? Between worlds? You're a punk. 
You're not even gonna understand what's going on in Breath of the Wild. You don't even know who Link is. Okay, I know who Link is. I wanna go make sure. I know who Link is. Do you know who Zelda is? Yes, yeah, she's a princess. Do you know who uh, Quan Sol is? No. Me neither. You're the faster bow. <laughs> Becky, you're making me nervous, I'm gonna drop this in now. I, have... I know, right? That's what I was just saying. I'm nervous. You guys might never see this if I drop it, but there is another boat, and another boat, and another boat, and all the boats. And there is Becca the boat. Let's see, what kind of tricks he got going on in here? He's got a bag of magic, some dictionaries, kind of in a crazy suit. Signature move. If I can pick boat or band? Boat or band. Band? Boat or band. If we learned how to sail boat. What if we didn't know how? What if it was band. like band? You want a band playing all day? I want like a rat pack cover band. Ugh. How about a rap pack? The water's not dirty, it's stained. Give you an idea what I'm talking about in tea, this can of gas. That's what we call this tea, this stain. If you go swimming out here, you don't want to wear no white, it's going to stain too easy. But you look like a big marshmallow. Back of my boy from growing up, I used to bring him swimming out here. Okay, so, ready to go swimming. I know where I don't belong. Yeah, take your top, it's my nose. <laughs> Did you open his mouth a bit? Yes, him off there. I've only had one person ever bitten and this woman deserved it. She would slap him on the end of his snot trying to get him to open it. <laughs> so if you want to be the second one, go ahead. I mean, you're holding it, you put one hand under the tail, one hand forward to the body. If you don't balance him, he wiggles. <laughs> Starts wiggling, if you're like, ah, oh, he's moving. He's alive. He's supposed to move. Who's going to be first? I got video right now. He's a little bit slimy. He's a little slimy? Okay, hold on. I'm to get you. It's like in uh, the freaking alligator from Peter Pan that you hate. <laughs> now they just need a clock. Just chilling. Getting a bunch of moss in his nose. <laughs> I the tip of the of the eyes, you got about five or six inches and it's five or six foot out of here. By the way, my parents Open up. So we survived the swamp tour, we survived lunch at Antoine's, and now we're gonna jump off the balcony and see if we can land a cool trick. You're up first. What kind of trick are you gonna do? An invisible trick. I'm gonna do a 360 uh, Lapis 22 uh, pop po boy sandwich flop right into the street. I got told the alligator because a little too shy. 
But we kind of felt bad for some of the alligators because they were just like trying to look and be like, what's going on? And you know, they just heard loud bull noises and the guy kept saying, Easy, easy. He kept calling the alligators trying to get them to come so he could eat the marshmallows, which they seemed to really like. But uh, we are now very, very tired and now about to walk and learn about crime. Real life of how to be a criminal in New Orleans and not get caught. You ready? I am ready. You look a little sleepy. I am very sleepy and I've got a car ride after this. We've got a five hour flight to Seattle for PAX. So we're gonna go back, we're gonna leave the tour a little early, go back and uh, pack up the room. Hopefully I can shower because they, they told us to put on like a ton of bug spray and sunscreen, but we ended up not needing any of it. There were a few dragonflies and a few spiders and a little sun, but other than that, it wasn't so bad. So uh, I'm gonna give Becca back her freaking purse and then we are gonna go and do this crime tour with some local crime experts, which should actually be pretty interesting. I'll record a little bit of it for you. Uh, the swamp tour was actually nice. The guy like knew a lot. Uh, we got to see quite a few alligators. They weren't as big or as scary as I expected. And then I held the live one. Uh, I felt a little bad because he was in a, like a tank until they pulled him out. I was like, poor little guy. We also saw a three-legged alligator, uh, which was sort of crazy. But he was happy and swimming. They seem actually kind of friendly and nice. So for all like the uh, the scary, you know, like reputation they get in movies and cartoons and stuff, alligators are not as big as you think. I mean, at least these ones. And they seem pretty darn friendly and they like to eat marshmallows. So more like a scaly jigglypuff, less like a scaly killer. Which means in a year and a half we're gonna have our 300th birthday party. I don't know what we have planned, but you probably already figured out we don't need much of an excuse to have a party here. 300 may not be very old where you're from, but for us it's pretty old. So that uh, that's when we got started. We uh, began as a French colony. Uh, a French uh, man from Montreal named Bienville founded the city in 1718. We remain a French colony all the way up to 1762, at which time we become a Spanish colony. We're a Spanish colony for 40 years, roughly. Uh, then we become French for a little bit, and then Napoleon sells us down river quite literally to the Americans, and we become American in 1803. Uh, the Sicilians have always been a part of New Orleans history. Another thing to know about the family here in New Orleans is not only is it the oldest mafia family in the United States, it is the most insular. What that means is the mafia here did not allow other families to operate. In New York, you had, what, five families. Not the case here. You probably know about Carlos Marcella, who was the mafia boss here from 1947 all the way to 1993. We'll talk more about him a little bit later. But he was named the mafia boss by a man named Silver Dollar San Carola. And Silver Dollar San Carola really brought his organization together during Prohibition. And he had such a well-tuned liquor distribution operation, he was actually supplying liquor to one of Al Capone's rivals up in Chicago. Al Capone took it upon himself to come down to New Orleans to try to convince Silver Dollar Sam to sell to him and not his competitor. <clears throat> what Al Capone did not know is, you don't come to New Orleans on mafia business without being invited. So what does Silver Dollar Sam do? He arrives at the train station with a couple of New Orleans police officers that were on his payroll, and he looks Sam Capone as soon as he gets off the uh, train, and he gets in his face, and he's, you fat buck, you don't ever come here without permission. Get back on that train. Oh, wow. right? Takes a lot of balls to say, fuck you. <laughs> so that is gonna do it for our New Orleans adventure. Like I said, I'm headed to Seattle straight to PAX from here. I got like a five hour flight. Uh, it leaves at seven. I get in there around 10 and then I gotta wait 43 minutes for the volatile game to arrive and we're heading to our hotel and we'll prep for PAX tomorrow. I hear Horizon's playable. All right, so we are done with New Orleans. There was a lot of sun and a lot of fun. Now I'm in Seattle and Gabe is trying to make the lights look good. We're just no, chilling here. No, no, I'm just Wait, trying. wave to the camera, people. Ooh, can you do a princess wave like they do at Disney? I've never been to Disney, but. They, they like do it kind of like this, kind of like, there you go. Gabe's a pro waver. Uh, so long flight from New Orleans up to Seattle. Beck is in Florida with her family for that funeral. 
Hope they're all doing well, and uh, we've got packs here. So just wanted to wrap up the vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed the adventures of Seattle. I hope you enjoyed that. We're going to start doing vlogs here. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, I had a good time doing it, and now hopefully me and Gabe can have some adventures at PAX. And that will be the next one. But for now, I'm going to get some rest. I'm incredibly exhausted. New Orleans was a whirlwind. We would be up so early every day, and then we were up late. And it was so hot, I think that just drained all of my sleep juice, and I'm just out of it. And so, I need to put some sleep juice back in the tank. So I'm going to drink a lot of water, I'm going to get a lot of sleep, and I'm going to have Gabe protect me from all the uh, evil spirits here in Seattle. Little, also, Little known secret, sleep juice is the sequel to Nelly's Pimp Juice from like around 2004. It's also the prequel to Beetlejuice. Yeah. <laughs> Movies are always related like that. It's weird how series go. Anyhow, uh, let's make this vlog thing a series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, me and Tuggles are about to hit the hay. I brought a little bit of hay for him. And uh, go find some hay for yourself. Get comfy and stay tuned for the next one. Until that time, everybody, drink some hot chocolate. Thanks again. I love you. And uh, we'll see you all later.